Hello everybody, this is Donna with ddivadesigns.blogspot.com. How are you? I wanted to show you a, um, a mini album in a box that I worked on for my granddaughter. Um, she is actually uh, due on sometime in November, the early part of November. Um, and as a matter of fact, her baby shower is this weekend, uh, this weekend coming. So I wanted to um, do a mini album for uh, for the shower for the mom and uh, what I did I created this box that you see here and I'll show you the mini album in a minute um, her name is Jasmine uh, they're gonna name her Jasmine and uh, which I totally love that name so I wanted to do this in addition to I mean I got them some other stuff too I actually went to this uh, craft fair probably about two weeks ago now two or three weeks ago and uh, this lady was there she hand knit um, some little baby shawls and sweaters I'm sorry and and hats so adorable and uh, next to nothing so I got her that and uh, I got her this and a couple of other things to get them started so um, but this is actually made by my hands and I wanted to um, to uh, do something special for for her and my son and for Jasmine so um, what I essentially did I did the same exact thing I did for my uh, for my nephew where what I did um, they can actually take a picture of Jasmine um, every week and uh, for six weeks and so there's a picture of her which there's space for her um, when she for of a picture when she first comes home and then a space for a picture for her every week thereafter for six weeks so uh, and this is a keepsake that they can have for her um, and show her when she's uh, when she's two and when she's three and for forever so um, I just wanted to make something real special for them so anyway here's the box and this is a plain old box it's a it's a cool shape and it's kind of sort of gatefold you open it up like that and I'll show you the um, the uh, album, the mini album, it's actually made out of a tag in a minute. But I got this box from the thrift store. I paid a dollar and forty-one cents for the box, and I covered it up. I I used Mod Podge, glossy Mod Podge when I added the paper. The paper pack comes from two uh, paper stacks. One from my favorite uh, Mary Posa, which is this pipe, this gold foil paper here, and the other paper came from my other uh, favorite paper stack, Tim Holtz. I forget the name of it, but it's kind of distressed and so forth. And there's some pinks, and um, so what I did, I covered up the front and the sides and so forth. On this right here, as you can see, that foil paper, and then I just added this uh, this flower here and a flower back here and what I did this actually came from a thrift store item too it actually was a um, it was a holder that holds tissues and it was pink and it had all these different embellishments on it so I pulled these flowers off and I totally love them and I wanted to keep them so I actually added them to the box here and uh, and here so on the front I used, um, sorry about that, this is not Prima Bling, this is some bling that I actually got from, some pearl bling that I got from a um, from Scrap Mart, and it's pink, hope you can see that. This is a Prima Flower, this is, this is a Prima Flower here, this is a flower from my stash, and here's a pink uh, glittered butterfly that I got from my friend Val, thank you Val. And uh, some Prima Flowers here and some pearl brads in the middle here. These right here came from, I think they came from Making Memories, guys. Don't quote me. But they're made out of metal. And they came like that. They came with that color. I was going to distress them and make them white or whatever. But I just decided to keep them gold. So they're like little ornaments uh, for the box. And then I punched out some more flowers from the leftover butterfly here. As you can see. And a butterfly up at the top. But very quick and easy cover. Nothing fancy dancy um, other than adding some flowers and some bling. But I think it turned out pretty neat. Alright. So that is the cover and the front of the, uh, of the box. So then when you open it up, you open it up like that. And then here's the mini album. It's actually a tag mini album. And of course, I got you guys. I'm pretty sure you know that shape. I'm gonna close this up. Put that to the side. And essentially, what I did was use this shape. I know you guys have seen that shape a thousand times. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's a tag. <coughs> excuse me. And what I did, I used some chipboard letters that were already glittered. These were actually. Um, they were another color, excuse me, and what I did, I painted them, and um, and then I added a little, little bit more stickles to it, just to, uh, to bling it up a little bit, but it spells out her name, Jasmine, 
as you can see. And I, I added this big, beautiful pink um, flower here with this wonderful pearl in the middle, which I totally love. And then I bound the whole thing with some large eyelets and um, and a ring, which I'm going to add some ribbon to it soon. I just didn't get a chance to do that. I wanted to get the uh, get the video up, but I will add some um, some fibers to that. All right. So then when you flip it over, here's the inside page. Oh, guys, let me tell you. Oh my gracious, let me tell you what I did with the paper for the inside. The paper for the inside. Pardon me was specifically this Lost and Found um, from the Blush Collection. I think I told you about this, guys, before, but I love this paper pack. So the papers that I used inside the uh, the mini tag album are from the Lost and Found Blush Collection by um, by my, my, my Mind's Eye. Beautiful, beautiful collection. And some of the embellishments, too, I got from them. I have, still have plenty of them left over, but here are some of the embellishments that came with it, came with that paper um uh, with that collection. Lots of breads and so forth. Totally love it. So I have plenty left over for some other projects as well, but that's the paper. I mixed some other papers in here, in here too, but for the most part it's that I lost and found collection, the blush, coll blush collection. All right, so so here's the first page. So here is the um, when she first comes home, there'll be a there'll be a spot for a picture here when she first comes home. And here is a um, a chipboard label that says uniquely you I hope you can see that it's nice and glittery and I added some um, some trim here a butterfly here and a stick pin here this actually came from uh, Mary Bell thank you so much my friend isn't it beautiful totally love that and a swap I got that and then I ran this this um, this one through a, uh, the die as you can see but the picture will go here so then this is week one They'll take a picture of her at week one, and I'll explain it to them so they'll know. And then they can add a picture of her at week one. And then here's some chipboard letters that spell out cute. Isn't that adorable? <coughs> Losing my voice. All right. So then for week two, um, week two has this uh, this tag that I created. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know the spellbinder spellbinder shape. And I glimmer misted it. Added another. Um, element from the collection and so did that so with this tag the same exact thing this says week two so and that actually slips down in there and then they can journal on the back but a picture is uh, designed to go there all right so that's week two and then here's a space for week three a picture for week three or a space for a picture for week three and I cut these out I used my uh, printer and cut those out and use my one inch punch this came from the uh, from the collection a ribbon from my stash and I ink the edges here with a space there for, for week three and then for week four excuse me put that to the side week four again space for a picture here week four just a um, a tag there it talks about a little girl delightful kind charming sweet caring loving cherished girl some flowers from my stash here and the ribbon but the picture will go there. Of course, the paper, again, is from that Lost and Found Blush Collection. So that's week four. And then here's week five. I uh, I used some Mod Pod on this paper right here. This actually was going to be my cover, quite honestly. But I changed my mind, and then I added some stickles around the edge. I love that bird cage. And there's space for a picture to go here. So the picture will go like right in there. And then some more trim there, this big beautiful flower, which was originally white. And I spray painted it, I believe, I mean, I uh, glimmer misted it, I believe, with some, um, actually, you know what, I take that back. It was Lindy's uh, stamp game, Cotton Candy. Sorry about that, I was off camera. <laughs> but I do remember that now, that I used Lindy's on that. So that's week five. And then when you turn that side over, there's just a, um, a tag here that says, you make the world a better place. And I love it because it's nice and glittery and yummy. And then for week six, it's just a, a butterfly and space to put a picture there, as you can see. And then here's the back. The back, what I ended up doing was using the paper collection, and I used a um, a Glimmer uh, Tattered Angels mask, that swirly mask. I hope you can see that. And then I did use some Glimmer Mist on um, to get that effect. And I hope you can see that. And of course, you guys know this Tattered Angels uh, butterfly. 
and I just stuck that on the back and I used um, some of that Lumiere paint to bling it up a little bit but that is the little mini album for Jasmine hello anyway so here's the album and here's the little um, the mini box that I actually have for for uh, for the baby shower this weekend all right so what I'll do guys I'll put some pictures uh, some close-up pictures so you can see uh, the everything close up I'll put those pictures on the back end oh and let me show you this one other project that I worked on too very very quickly one second um, I did alter a couple of things this weekend too and uh, you see this right here got it from the thrift store I think I paid for four of them I think I paid like a dollar and twenty cents for four of them just made out of wood wall hangings I suppose but I turned this one into this can you see that turn my camera down a little bit yeah so essentially what I did I turned this into this and I made a little small wall hanging that I'm gonna probably give this away to um, probably some either either the people at my my uh, sister's school or I'll give it to somebody at work and I'm probably gonna add whoever I give this to I'm gonna add their a chipboard letter here with their initial but essentially what I did I painted it with some green paint I sprayed it with some glimmer mist. I punched out some uh, some butterflies here, added some bling here. This paper actually is from Mary Posa, which I totally love. And then I added some um, some trim here, um, a flower from my collection there. This is actually from Lindy Stamp Gang. That um, it's a chocolate cover, chocolate truffles, I believe. And then I added some more uh, some more butterflies there. But essentially, what I'll do is, like I said, I'll add um, a chipboard letter here with someone's initial there. And then I'll give that away as a gift for Christmas. All right. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And again, I'll put some pictures of the uh, the Jasmine uh, mini tag album on the back, and uh, so you guys can see that. And um, and I will talk to you guys soon. You have a wonderful day. Smooches.